What's up, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. We're going to knock this video out for you. Uh, as far as if you do catch these before, you catch the live stream on Don Fran's show. We're actually going an hour early. I typically stream uh, one hour after the Futures Open. We're kicking it off right at Futures Open. Uh, there's a football game on tonight. I know a lot of participation is usually low anyway, so I want to get uh, to the point. Maybe a few less rants this time. Uh, just so to people that do come back and watch it later, they can get through a little bit quicker on with their day. But this video, we will talk about the expected moves where the market makers are pricing in some risk. We are seeing, I don't want to say we're getting uh, out of hand. We were doing just fine. Like we got out, we came back in, kind of doing what we were supposed to be doing for quite some time now. Uh, but got out, is that a Friday? Yeah, so reined it back in. Last Friday we didn't. I was this close to turning the bot back on, and I just might. So I have a trading bot that actually uses this data. It's a market efficiency uh, bot, you know, it's not really just a, uh, a standard deviation bot, like, like, like some would say. Um, but we'll see what this week has to offer because we do have uh, basically tech this week has earnings. Uh, the QQQ is going to announce whether we suck or not. Uh, and then Powell coming out on Wednesday. Um, and, and more importantly, if you, if you are going to catch the show, you guys know we're going to talk about my reaction to Powell. Basically, you know Powell's going to come out, he's going to sound bearish. Really no if answer buts on that one. It's how are we going to react to Powell? Little red, medium red, big red. Who's still in control after he's speaking? That will largely affect. I've been waiting for a while to say if the bottom is in or not. I don't think it is. If there's something that's going to make me change my mind, it'll be the reaction to Powell later. Uh, so I'll be very curious about that. Uh, typically, I go live on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. But we are going to throw in a Wednesday stream just to go over that. I'm sure there'll be enough volatility there. Uh, Thursday, make sure you're there for the after party. Um, we're going to stream, we're talking about all the earnings that happened uh, Thursday and kind of where we're at. Anyway, let's uh, let's grab the expected moves uh, and get grooving. Alright, so IWM is 514s. Let's turn and burn. Alright, uh, 974 for the QQQ. Spy, we got 943. So all quite a bit bigger moves. And you know Tesla. Tesla 1880. After the move it had last week, that was uh, impressive, to say the least. Oh, man. I need Tesla to pull back. Calm the F down is what I need Tesla to do. Uh, all right, so uh, SPY was 943. Close enough. All right, we do expire on February 3rd, so we're good there. Man, and, I, and I'm very curious. I've never seen chats more divided by this. Shout out to my mentorship chat. Uh, if you are curious about that, anyway, that's that's my private chat. Um, we go live every day. Uh, everything's been so divided. Whether they think the market is in, the, the, the bottom is in, sorry, or, or not. I have not seen people so divided. There hasn't been any arguing, though. People are just like, ah, bottom's in. Someone come in. You're crazy. No, it's not. Uh, they kind of share their points. Uh, and then that's it. We did melt up and go two standard deviations last week. Uh, but, man, I've seen it across the board. People are going for the throat. <laughs> uh, it's getting crazy. Uh, so I do like having my own group just for that. Uh, close enough. Uh, but let me know what you think. Is, is the bottom in? Are people crazy for thinking that? This is the first time I've had to like do a double take on the charts. I've said that before. Like, I don't think it is in, but it's enough that I can't completely argue somebody. That's why I'm just I'm sitting on the sidelines. Still just intraday trading, uh, kind of making some money there. I've made a lot of money going long, though, uh, which is uh, I have uh, longer-term uh, put positions that have well been covered by just the short-term long positions I'm in. And that's what had me thinking, like, should I really be making this much uh, on my long position? This is crazy. Uh, so it does look like the Bulls came back with some, some force. I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say down below. Uh, are we in or what? I'm hanging out for Powell. I will have my answer after Powell. Uh, nah, but no wrong answers. If that was the bottom, we turned on a dime like that. That would be crazy. Nothing I've seen before. Man, so if we don't go two standard deviations down, all we're doing, pricing in a higher low, I would have to say we're bullish. If we just kind of get down to here, 
I would rather buy that dip than fight that trend in the meantime. Because let's let's say Powell comes out, kicks it off, we head south. Or we even like Monday, Tuesday, or green. We're up here, Powell comes out, Super Bear smacks that thing right back down. Just be red just like this. And then you buy the dip and it turns around. Could be the, the kickoff to just a, a straight downtrend. Or it could just be the next dip buy. So, in my opinion, Powell probably needs to come in and just strike like Zeus. Like he's going to come in and do something dangerous. Uh, so, there's good old-fashioned Tesla. There's one standard deviation. Two, three. Almost went for the four spot. Uh, each time we, we held here, jumped to the next one, melted to the next one. Still had some extra juice. Um, which is absolutely crazy. So, does the melt-up continue on that or not? 1880. Hang on, I do want to get that a little bit closer. Well, we're not going to fight over five cents. All right. <laughs> so a full standard deviation down, if you understood what I just said. Just kind of gives back Friday. <laughs> All right, we'll give you guys back that. Man, if you're bullish and it even just hits one standard deviation down, that's nothing. That's, I wouldn't even call that a pullback. Right now, a pullback all the way to 145 is just a pullback for Tesla. Uh, what a wild time. I got to say, uh, if you're a Tesla investor, this should make you nervous. Uh, I, now, I know a lot of the stock pickers on YouTube, that they, they pick Tesla because it's their investment account, and, and they're excited, and then it goes up like this, uh, and, and they just get super excited. Like, volatility, like that's not something necessarily you want in your investment account, uh, because that starts to look like a pump and dump. That is momentum traders, and when things do go up like that, they will come down with that same speed. Uh, Tesla's been one to kind of just rewrite the loss as far as that goes we all know tesla can go for a run tesla's got that cult following they get their pitchforks and torches and they go for it but if this is not one of those times it's just starting to look like this right here so if you are bullish um hang on where's it at right here bars pattern so we'll just grab here the same run up last time where everyone thought the bottom was in we're just kind of like right there so is it just that we go sideways and we dump this thing back down? Um, or we really uh, are the bulls just in control and going for it and that's not even momentum? I personally think that's more shorts covering than anything else. Um, re regardless, Tesla's got the beat down. Uh, Tesla definitely has sold off a lot. So if you were short, congrats, you killed it. Um, and it probably is time to consider exiting. I think that's what a lot of people did. Don't forget, guys, shorts covering is buy side activity. They have to buy to close. So oftentimes you see just these melts up because they're clicking the close button. They went short up here. They click market sold. They get the worst fill, and they still killed it. So at this point, we got to see do shorts pile back in. Uh, do we reject? Do we need? Does anybody take profit? Anything like that? Uh, anyway. Um, Top two links in the description. Teachable. That's the trading suite. Patreon. That is now two things. One, the mentorship. That is tier two. Uh, tier one, more to support the channel. Uh, that is the $5 a month one, but I am putting $150 into an account every week, and then I'm just posting everything I buy in that account. The idea to build a beast account, as far as Jeremy from Financial Education said, I'm just going to do it better. That's the goal. That's what I'm going to do. We'll see in December uh, who bought the right ones, uh, but right now it is, it is killing it. I will say Tesla is 50% of the gains. Uh, so anyway, if you want to check all that out, those are in the description. And just remember, guys, those are the two links. That's it. And I will not message you anymore. AI is going to kill it with these uh, scammers and, and, and fraudsters. Uh, so I'm not going to message you. I don't care. I'll reply to your messages, but I'm not going to reach out anymore because I don't want anybody to get confused. Um, and, and again, if it's not those two specific websites, then it's not me. So I would enjoy it if you guys wanted to give me some free Bitcoin. I, I Sure, your crypto experience sounds awesome. Um, but... <laughs> That's not me. So anyway, I'll end it here. I'll see you guys on Don Fran's show. Have a good one.